You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. What narrative would you like to relay to the public about JNU? About JNU? There's this, again, very twisted, polarized yes. opinions when it comes to yeah, JNU. It is very polarized. It's very unfortunate because I'm... Uh, JNU is not what a lot of people perceive JNU to be. Which is what? Uh, JNU is... Um, uh, more often than not, I say, look, there are bad things in JNU, no doubt about it. Ideologically, it is still entrenched in the communist uh, way of thinking, which I think is wrong. There's a lot of cancel culture that has come in. Again, it is very wrong. Uh, I, uh, you know, so there are things that are wrong. But I have interacted with a lot of people who are in the public eye in JNU, and they're immediately branded as the left-winging bloody commie, India anti-national, this and that. And trust me, they're quite nice to talk to. You know, <laughs> in person, they are. They are. Um, uh, I think one uh, uh, one lady comes to mind, I won't name her. Uh, I think she was part of JN, uh, JNU, SU student, whatever. Extremely affable to talk to. But as with all things political, they have to have uh, what the wonderful British phrase is, keeping up appearances. Mm. So they have to appear to be like that. I'm sure if I were to talk to, well, wasn't there this um, uh, photo of Modi cracking a joke with Sitaram Yachuri? Mm. And right-wingers didn't like it because they said, Twitter pe hum lad rahe hai tumhare liye, <laughs> aur wahan pe tum joke crack kar <laughs> But in real life, it is like that, you know? Mm. You, uh, and I, I just, I, I hope it is always like that. Because I don't want people to agree with me all the time. You know, I want challenges. I want people to tell me I'm wrong and I want to learn those things. Likewise, the other side as well. And trust me, I, uh, you know, I'm, uh, so I get, get that. I see that a lot in JNU. Yeah. But persona is that JNU is anti-national, JNU is this. But and with our new vice chancellor, things are really improved. And I'll tell you why, because she is a complete no-nonsense lady. And it helps that she has been a product of JNU. So she interacts immediately. She says what she has to say and she does things, you know, she's like a, a doer. So I think uh, it's 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 a good place. JNU is a good yeah. place. What's the beauty of JNU that only JNU alumni know? Uh, uh, I think one thing that JNU has to learn, first of all, is to actually kind of interact more with its, with its alumni to get more fun. I mean, you look at a place like Harvard, for example. Uh, the alumni donations that Harvard gets every year is more than the R&D budget of India. Mm. You know, and here JNU doesn't, uh, I think it's only recently, maybe six months ago that it, ha it held its major alumni meet. Every college or university, I think IITs have started doing that. Some of the alumni are filthy rich. And I don't mean that in a denigrating way. They are billionaires. They are in high prominent positions. Uh, you know, and they should be, they should help out their, uh, uh, you know. Uh, Juniors. Uh, yes. it's it's So some of the infrastructure in JNU uh, needs to be, uh, uh, you know, upgraded. Uh, needs a new department should come up. There is a new Tamil Center for Learning coming up in JNU. And I was very happy that somebody was telling me a uh, few statues are going to be donated by the Tamil Nadu government, which is great. It's a non-right-wing government, but so what? You know, I, th I think uh, when you think of something that is in uh, is going to help the country, do not think of parties at all. Mm. You know, and I think this is uh, it's not an advice that I give to anyone. I'm no one to give advice, but I think people must realize this: mm. that every every political party at some point or the other has dabbled in things that are quote unquote anti-national. So no one is. As um, the biblical saying goes, uh, he who has not sinned through the first stone. New clips released at the same time that a podcast releases. This is TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe.